Amen. You know, in the book of John, chapter 1, verse 14, what does the Bible say? You know, the Bible says, The Word became flesh and dwelt amongst us, and we beheld His glory. Amen. And He was full of grace and truth. The Word became flesh. On that Christmas day, the Word became flesh. Amen. Who's the Word? And you know, in John chapter 1, verse 1, the Scripture declares, Who's the Word? In the beginning was the... And the, in the beginning was the... And the... Was with God. And the... Was God. Amen. The Word. And the Word. And then in John chapter 1, verse 14, the Bible says, And the Word became flesh. On that Christmas day, you know, 2,000 years ago, in a, in a town called Bethlehem, a remote place, right, in a Judean town. Amen. God came, amen, to intervene and God took the form of a human being. Amen. And so listen, this morning, you know, the favor of God, the grace of God, Jesus is full of grace and truth. Amen. When you speak, when you think of Jesus, it's the favor of God. Amen. When you think of Jesus, it's the grace of God. And then the scripture goes on to say this, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bring forth a son and shall call his name and shall call his name Jesus. Amen. You shall call his name Jesus. And he will be great and shall be called the son of the highest. Amen. Listen, you know, the person of Jesus Christ, the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And his kingdom, there will be no end. And then the scripture, and, and, you know, and then Mary said to the angel, how can this be? How is this going to take place? I don't understand. Now, the first thing you tell me, I'm favored, I'm blessed, the Lord is with me. And now you tell me, right, you know, I'm going to be a vehicle to bring forth the Son of God. How can this be? Come on, look at the person next to you and say, how can this be? Have you ever asked this question, how can this be? How is this going to take place? Lord, how, Lord, Lord, you put, Lord, a vision in my heart. Lord, you put, Lord, a business. You, there's a birthing of a business or there's a birthing of a destiny or purpose of God. How can this be? Lord? How can this be, Lord? I've invested in the kids so much. And Lord, you know, I'm struggling to bring them out. How can this be? Lord? How can this be? Lord, you know, I've been struggling in my place of work. And Lord, you said, Lord, that you said that, you know, you will prosper us in all things that we may be in good health, even as our soul prospers. How can this be? Lord? How can this be, Lord? I've been faithful. And Lord, you know, here, right, I'm battling sicknesses in this, my body. How can this be? Lord? How can this be, Lord? There's so many prophetic words. Lord, within me, there is a God-given dream. I've, you know, there's a, a Lord, my, my spirit, the womb of my spirit, there's, there's a God-given dream that has been conceived. Lord. How can this be? After so many years, nothing is going to take place. Lord. How can this be? Lord? How can this be? Lord? You know, how can this be? I do not know a man, you know, of course, right, you know, nev nowhere in history, right, you know, has a virgin giving, given birth. Lord. That was the instance. Listen, this was one of the greatest, the, this is not the one, this is the greatest miracle. Hello? This is the greatest miracle. You know, Christmas is the greatest miracle. That God in His awesomeness, you know, the omnipotent God, the all-powerful God, the God that knows everything, the God that is ever-present. Amen. Jehovah, Jireh, our provider, Jehovah, Shaman, the Lord who is with us, Jehovah, Rapha, our healer, the God, the almighty God, will take the form of a human being. Amazing, right? That's why, you know, it's amazing, right, when you and I begin to comprehend, amen, Christmas, when you and I begin to comprehend even the birth of Jesus, that God, amen, the greatest act of love, the greatest act of humility, amen, would take the form of a human being. You know, there was once a man who was really against, not, no, he was against Christianity. And one of the reasons was he was against Christianity was because, right, he just couldn't understand how God could take and come in the form of a human being. And it was a Christmas Eve, you know, day, you know, and, and the family, you know, his wife and his daughter were committed Christians. And, you know, and his wife, and, you know, it was, you know, it was, they had just had their dinner. And, you know, and, and the daughter asked, Dad, would you join us for the Christmas Eve service? You know, just for once, Dad, you know, just come and join us for our Christmas Eve service. And of course, the dad said, no, I don't believe in Christmas. I don't understand. Because he was a nice man, but, you know, just this, right, that I don't, I just can't understand how God would take and come in the form of a human being. 
to understand. And so the daughter was disappointed. They had gone, amen, for the Eve service. You know, and you know, here he was in his home and you know, it, was, uh, it was warm inside, but very cold outside. There was a winter blizzard that was going on. He was seated in his chair, you know, just, you know, just, uh, just reading. And suddenly, right, there was a thump. Then suddenly it was another thump thump. And then thump. And you know, he was just wondering, you know, where's this noise coming from? And then, you know, he just stepped out, you know, he just looked at the window. And then he began to notice, right, there were birds, you know, that were caught in the winter blizzard that wanted to come in into the house that was warm. They had seen the warm, you know, they had seen the fire. They wanted to just come, they were just cold out there. And what were they doing was they were just hitting the window and dropping dead. And so, you know, he just looked there and he thought, man, I better save these birds. And so he went out, you know, he opened his barn. And, you know, and, you know he just, you know, put a fire in the barn. And so that the birds, right, you know, somehow could be distracted to go in the barn. But it didn't take place. The birds just came and kept hitting the window and dropping dead. Why? Because they just wanted the warmth. And then this man, right, went out there, you know, took a blanket and tried to shoo the birds and kind of trying to... You know, just trying to just distract them so that they could go to the barn. But the birds just didn't come. And when he went into the house, I mean, there he was sitting down and thump and thump and thump. And sees what? And then he had a thought. And then he just thought to himself, you know, the only way, you know, he just thinking himself, he said, the only way these birds would probably listen to me is if I became a bird. And then suddenly, he realized that he was preaching to himself. Amen. He realized that the reason Jesus came, amen, so that each one of us, right, could experience him. That each one of us this morning, right, could feel his heart. That each one of us this morning, right, could, you know, hearken to his voice. That each one of us this morning, amen, amen, would have an opportunity to be saved. This man preached to himself. And today, you know, even as we look at this, you know, the scripture on, on, you know, this wonderful portion of scripture, when Mary stood before the angel, Mary said, how can this be? What does the angel say? Look at what the angel says. Verse 35, and the angel answered and said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Also that the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative also has conceived a son in her old age, and this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. Come on. Come on, say this with me. La. Say this with me. For with God. Say it again. La. For with God. Come on. Belt it out. La. For with God. Come on. For with God. For with God. Nothing. 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 Nothing will be impossible. Mary, verse 38, Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord. Now, look at this. Now. Powerful. Amen. Look right at the way this woman of God responds. Now. You know, this woman of God responds at the point where destiny, now, at the point that she was beginning, that she was going to come to shape history and destiny. Now. She says, right, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord. Now. Let it be done according to your word amen behold the maid servant of the lord let it be done according to your word friends listen this morning i just want to declare five truths right as we look at the whole christmas all the events you know the birth of jesus the people that were involved amen the sense of god initiating controlling events around and listen as we look at these five powerful truths i want to say this there's going to be a birthing that's going to take place within the womb of your spirit. Now, as you begin, right, to look at the principles now, of Christmas. Now. Principle number one, now, and this is this. Now. God will fulfill every word that He has spoken. Now. Can I hear an amen? Now? God will fulfill every word that He has spoken. Now. Friends, listen. Now. As you know, you know, as you look at the portion of Scripture, you know, there's so many prophecies 